Hey, what's up, everyone? This is K with Scott Wolf Game Studios, and I'm back for uh, another helpful new tutorial kind of video today. So basically, I was testing out um, building a VR game for um, my Oculus Quest 2 in Unreal Engine 5, and I ran into a bunch of errors. I'll show you what those look like right now. So um, here's one of them. This screenshot gave me some packaging errors. You can see this in Unreal Engine 5. You can see a bunch of red. Uh, this happens, and another issue that you might run into is this one right here. It says, turn key error, do you wish to attempt again? So what had happened was, hold on, let me try to get rid of that. All right, so what had happened was um, I basically set up everything, and I went to build, and it gave me those errors, and it turned out, there was a couple things that were wrong um, compared to how it was when UE was in preview and then beta or alpha or whatever, whichever. Um, that's besides the point. So I created a project um, and then I used the VR template. And then because I'm using the VR template, if you're using a blank page, what you'll need to do is the You'll need to make sure Oculus is enabled. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and in the stable release, uh, this actually works with OpenXR, which in the beta or whatever, it was not in. This was in beta still, so you could untick this. If you try to untick it, it will no longer let you. Uh, this is. A part of oculus now so you cannot do that because if you disable one it will disable the other and your vr game won't work or at least not that i've found through a coding thing uh yeah D ignore that um we'll just put that back all right so basically what you have to do is go to project settings um and make sure you go down to input. Make sure it touches. If you're using um, the VR template, you won't have to do much. Uh, the touch should be cleared out and say none. Uh, make sure HDR mobile is disabled, which it is. Um, those are the two main factors for Unreal Engine 5. And then what you want to do is go down to Android SDK. Uh, hold on. Sorry, Android uh, SDK. Um, make sure you accept this SDK agreement. Uh, I've done this already. Um, also for Oculus specifically, um, it's built on top of Android. So that's why that's important for this. So make sure these minimum SDK set to 29 target SDK is set to 29. This is actually also mentioned in their documentation right here on the Oculus website. <clears throat> um, where is it? Uh, right here. Minimum SDK version must be 29 and the target. Uh, full screen KitKat, is, that's already enabled to true in Unreal Engine 5, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. So then what you want to do is go to Android SDK, and this is where you start need to set up the SDK files. So for the first one, Android SDK, um, what you'll do is you'll go to, um, where is it? Uh, search for Android Studio 4.0, and it will take you to, should be this top one right here. Or, yeah, and it will take you. I'm gonna leave all the links for everything so that you can get all set up. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is to show you how I did it and got everything working. Uh, but, anyways, you'll end up on a page like this. This is Android Studio download options. Um, just scroll down a little ways and you should look for download archives. Click that, it's gonna pop up with the agreement. Go ahead and accept that. 
And then what you want to do is look for 4.8 right here. Do not update. Um, this is specifically mentioned in the Unreal Doc Engine documentation currently. So what you want is the May 28, 2020 4.0. And you'll install that. And when you, you go through all that process, um, it might ask you to uh, set do a couple extra things. Um, just go ahead and go through with it. Uh, don't update, do not import um, any existing settings. And you'll end up with a screen that looks like this. Uh, and go to configure, SDK manager. And the important part here is the Android SDK. Um, make sure it's on API 32, which that should be the default here. But you want SDK tools make sure this one t is ticked right here. Android SDK platform tools 33.1 is what I'm on right now and they press okay. And these are gonna make you have to reboot um, afterwards. You're gonna end up rebooting quite a few times actually <clears throat> through this process. So then what you need to do is go back into that and set it to your folder and point this, this is where it gets confusing. If you look at these, it's saying the directory that contains it, which is technically the folder. So for the first one, the SDK, um, you can pull that from the, when you install this, it'll give you the folder. Um, And I'll show you what it looks like. If it'll let me. Uh, one sec. But anyway, you want to find where these folders are. And make sure it's set to this one specifically. Uh, and you'll use these, what you, you don't um, click in here. It's gonna, these are going to be blank. Don't click in here and add it. You want to use these little three dots to the right. Add the copy and paste and add that link in right there. And that will set that. Because if you just click in there, it won't count. Um, all right, next part is the NDK. Um, to do this, uh, where, where did I get that? I'm trying to think. Um, um, <clears throat> so, uh, I, I'm just kind of winging this. Let's see here. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where I got that from. Okay. So, once you set up the Android Studio um, and the command line, what you'll do is you'll go into uh, file. You'll go to this. You go to your project, um, Epic Games, and then underline five where or wherever you put it. Um, I left everything at the defaults. There's also an NDK that you can download separately, but I did it this way on purpose, um, just because I wanted everything in defaults. Go to engine. Uh, I think it's extras, Android. Yeah. And then for Windows, I'm on Windows 11 right now. Uh, d double click this, set up Android, and what it will do is it will take you through a process um, and install that all for you. Um, in the same SDK folder, you'll notice these are the same. Um, there's another way to do it, but, and then you can throw it in your uh, documents folder. Uh, I'll leave that link for that as well. And just make sure that when you set it, don't set it to the NDK folder, because right here it says the directory contains and make sure it's set to this. So double click on that. 
so it has that NDK version after it, like I have here, and and that will make sure that's set up properly. Uh, for the JDK, what you want to do is go to um, Oracle. I think it was Oracle. Uh, 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 let's see here. I had a lot going on. <laughs> uh, Java. Where did I get that one? I'm trying to remember. Sorry, it's been. I'm working on this, my own project, and a Western project, and a VR project. So I'm a little scatterbrained. Um, yeah. So you'll want to go to Oracle and then look for the Java SE downloads and then scroll all the way down and this is the one I grabbed um, I got the x64 uh, for Windows and then you'll download this file right here to get the JDK it will install and then you can reboot um, and that you're gonna actually have to log in had to download that's why there's a little lock there and then after that you can hold on one sec yeah after that then what you do is you go to you do the same thing um here i'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this and click on the three dots and then you'll want to go to that specific folder so or wherever you put it it should put it in the c drive under java um there's two of them in here jre you want the jdk and then make sure you click on that so that you can get that whole version and and select that and that will put that in there because right here it's doing the same thing it makes you think it's the java folder but you need the actual um, version after it set the SDK API level to latest um, and then for me I put I left it at Android 19 because this is what works for me right now uh, and I actually do have proof that this does work uh, but we're not done yet so the other thing that's really really important is to if you're building on Windows, make sure you download .NET Core 3.1. Should be this first one right here. It's going to take you to the Windows SDK. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, that's yeah, that's something else we had to do. Uh, hold on. Um, there's a lot going through my head right now. Uh, what you'll do is um, you'll download this. It's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And then you want the um, installer. And but instead of going there, I would advise going to this. I'll leave the link for this, and this will download the correct one because I tried this one. It gave me an installer and it did not work. Uh, this will enable Windows um, SDK in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And that's the important part so that you can build on Windows and Android or whatever you're trying to do. Uh, um, you'll click this link right here. I'll leave the link right here as well in the video. And that will help you with that problem. Um, and then what you want to do from there is go to the same game engine folder. C program files, Epic Games. Um, Unreal Engine 5, binaries, third party, .NET, um, Windows, host, FXR, here, um, and then go into the version folder. What you want to do is copy this, control C, and then you're going to back out of this and you're going to go into another folder, which is the automation tool. It's under the dot binaries.net. 
automation tool, copy and paste it into here, okay? Because that's going to create um, a fix for an issue that prevents you from building on Windows. So we're nailing both the Android and the Windows issue at once so that you can, you can build on either or. Um, I believe this should work for other stuff too. Um, but it'll get rid of a lot of those errors. Uh, let me see here. Oh, and here's my proof that this does work. Um, see, this is the Oculus build that I just built literally this afternoon, right before I made this video. Um, and just to show you that um, I am telling the truth, I'm going to repackage. Uh, so basically, when if you've done all this correctly, uh, I would advise strongly advise rebooting, and then you, you should be able to you should be good to go. You'll the cool thing that I like about Unreal Engine Five is that it actually tells you if these are working or not. So these will be lit up if they're not working or enabled or there's an issue. Um, not only will the output log show the error when it fails or gives that turnkey error, but they also have a little exclamation mark to indicate there's a problem. So mine are lit up for Windows and for Android. Um, but anyways, so what you'll do is go to platforms, in my case, Android, and I'm leaving this as default. Uh, under the SDK, this is management thing, this is what we all we set up. Um, the install SDK should be have a number next to it. The auto SDK will show something below it, along with whatever version. And that's how you know you're actually doing it right and getting it working. And then all you do is package project. Um, I'm just going to throw this on desktop again. New folder. UE. PK test and select that folder. If you've done everything correctly, it should start the package and no errors. And here's the upload log. So you can see this actually does work. I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, problems, issues, uh, I do have a Discord channel. You're more than welcome to join it. Follow me on social media. Um, and you guys have a great afternoon.